I'm Katie Canise, and I've been at Faith Bridge for a little over a year. So growing up with no religious background, um, I had never been at church before. I grew up and I was told, you know, there is a God, but that was the whole conversation. I knew from like Christmas, there was baby Jesus in the manger, but it's not like you know Jesus, you just know of him. Maybe you feel like you're missing something, but you can't like put your thumb on it, like what exactly it is. And I would drive by Faith Bridge every day to and from work, and I'd always see those big banners spotlighting what the series was on for that week. I was just like, oh, they're doing so much. What are, you know, how is this all working? And, and what are they, you know, really doing besides, you know, what's the truth behind this banner? I honestly didn't know what church was. I was like afraid there was like test or, you know, how do you read the Bible? And, you know, there's assigned seats. I was so intrigued that I got on Facebook and I found uh, Faith Bridge on there. I just scrolled through and was looking at pictures and looking at videos, seeing, you know, what is all of this about and who are these people and what are they doing? And I started watching the online series. You know, whatever was the topic for the day, whatever the sermon was, it always seemed to just affect my heart. It seemed like it was always applying to me. Even when I knew, you know, Pastor Ken didn't say, hey, Katie, you know, what's going on in your life so we can make a sermon for you? It always seemed to just hit home, no matter what it was. So I just kept coming back because I was just like, I need, I need to know what is happening here. I watched the Faithbridge Facebook sermons online for probably three or four months before I saw the starting point clips and everything talking about the upcoming classes. Starting point, when they talked about it, it seemed like that you could come, even if you didn't have that religious knowledge of Jesus and God and the Bible. So I signed up for starting point. I Googled like the Faithbridge campus to try to find out like which building we were supposed to go to. I didn't know if I would fit in or if I would be judged. And just through going around the room, we were able to learn about where each person was and how they got to that starting point class. Nobody's story was the same, but everybody was there to understand, you know, this is a starting point for us and we want to move forward. They gave me a Bible. I remember they were like, take a Bible off the cart and this is for you to keep. And I was like, my first Bible, and I still have it. And it wasn't really until after starting point when I realized like, this is the piece of me that I've been missing and always searching for. It wasn't always like you knew what you were searching for, so you couldn't really put you know words to it or explain it. You just felt that love once you got to understand Jesus and how he works in our hearts. So after the starting point class was over, I went into the big part of Faith Bridge, into the real uh, sanctuary, into the big worship, and I was really nervous because I had never been in the East or the West building, but there were so many Faith Bridge, you know, helper servers that could direct me where to go that I just kind of was like, okay, I got this. And I went in and I remember, you know, sitting in the back and standing up during the worship and just being like, why did I wait this long to come in and do this? Message of the day, church is not scary. Come. <laughs> That's my message. So then I talked to Nikki from our starting point group and I said, you know, this is something that I feel is right for me and I want to learn how do I move forward and grow here. And I learned about um, getting a grow group, like getting connected with a grow group. And then I also learned about baptism because I had never been baptized growing up. Then I uh, got plugged into like a discipleship group with um, Nikki and Kate. Going through discipleship, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, you know, dig deep within you and understand, you know, what's driving you to these decisions and where do you have Jesus. On the other hand, going through discipleship with Nikki and Kate has been wonderful because you have friends to go along with you through this whole journey. You know, when it's hard, you have someone to rely on and you can call some you can call Kate and, you know, say I'm struggling with this and 
she's gonna be there and, and help me through it because she understands where I'm coming from. And I just want to continue to get plugged in at Faith Bridge, you know, to help grow our grow group and to help, you know, the serve teams and wherever I feel like my abilities will be best suited. It's just so nice to walk through life with all of these people and, and have the understanding that you are not alone, that you have this safety net of people that love you and want to surround you and help you through all kinds of situations.